Yesterday I came back from a seven day cruise in the Caribbean as well as two extra nights in New Orleans, one at the beginning and one at the end of the trip. And I packed in my carry-on bag and it's 30 liters and I did it. This trip was a bit hard to pack for because I was teaching swing dancing on the cruise ship and I had to have clothes for dancing in theme nights, I had to have clothes for the beach, and I had to have clothes that I could teach in as well as all my teaching equipment that I needed for this particular trip. So over here is what I wore on the plane as well as my favorite, favorite thing in the world, which is my trusty fanny pack. And my fanny pack comes from the Ministry of Culture on Etsy. And this fanny pack holds all my essentials. We have my wallet. I have a little bag with some essentials like my hearing aid batteries and um, some Advil, some Band-Aids, safety pins. Dancers always have safety pins on them. I have my phone in here, my case for my headphones, as well as the little dongle that's so easy to lose with the new iPhones, stainless steel straw, my favorite hurrah chapstick with SPF. I have a pen and a piece of cutlery, business cards in here, hearing aid case, as well as, oh, it was a bag from, from my snack mix. Cause, oh, a pumpkin seed. <laughs> that was the fell there on the plane. It's really, really roomy. Next is what I wore on the plane. My underwear, of course. I have ex officio underwear, a bra and some socks. Yeah, I hate wires, so this is a wireless gap bra. My favorite pair of stretchy pants. These are Uniqlo. They're jeggings in a way. They're all stretchy. The only pair of pants that I wore on the trip were these ones. I needed them for teaching as well as it was a little chilly in New Orleans and I get cold on planes. So, oh, I, I always wear pants. My merino wool shirt. This one is an icebreaker shirt. A cardigan. This one is a Kate Spade Saturday cardigan. I love this. It's wool. It's long. It's got some style to it. Uh, unfortunately, you can't really find these anymore. I actually found this one on eBay because I had one previously. I lost it on a dancing trip and years later I loved it so much I had to find another one on eBay. have my packable down. It was winter in New York City so I needed a jacket. And as well as I'm always cold so I want something on the plane. I did wear this the last day in New Orleans too because it was about 60 degrees and really windy. This one is a Patagonia packable down. I have a sarong as which doubles as a scarf and this also doubles as a beach blanket and a blanket on planes. So in New York this was scarf. Scarf. <laughs> scarf. Blanket for planes. Sarong. And I'm ready for the beach. It still smells like sunscreen. Next, I have my backpack. And my backpack is a Topo 30 liter. I have a pocket that fit my laptop. And I have uh, one of the 13 inch MacBook Pros. I use my computer for DJing at the dances on the ship as well as um, checking some email in New Orleans. But if this wasn't a business trip, I would not have needed this. But since I was working, I needed my computer. Pocket one. Oh, ooh, snack mix. I have the charger for my phone, the cell phone charger, as well as this one's a dual plug which is really useful for uh, the rooms on a cruise ship which really only have one or two plugs that are American outlets so this is really helpful to have the option to plug in a second USB cord into this. I have my sunglasses. My face is really small and these glasses are too big. Next I have some lotion. It's in like a bar form. Mm, ginger lime, it smells good. My case for my hearing aids. I have my favorite sunscreen of all time for 
small trips, I would say, or for my face and my neck and my chest. And this is all good sunscreen butter. Another pen, I probably had snacks in it. I have some vitamins, which I didn't really take actually. I have some elderberry, which I'm gonna take now because I really, really don't feel awesome after sharing food and drinks with people on the ship, which I usually don't, that was a mistake. But I also, I have melatonin in here, which we did take to kind of reset our clocks and make our help ourselves sleep earlier because I was teaching at 8 a.m. classes, which is, for me, fairly early to be awake and perky and in front of people. But with room service coffee delivered, it was pretty great. So I'm gonna take my elderberry with my water bottle. Vapor water bottle, this one's a liter. Admittedly, I had to return the first one that I got because it leaked. This one does not leak. So if you buy a leaky one, return it, get a new one. Sometimes the seals aren't great. But this one is so nice and flat that it can actually fit in the pocket of my backpack, which is where I had this. Not all that fit in this top pocket, which means I opened my second pocket, and the first thing I had laying in the second pocket was my water bottle, charging cable for my computer. Oh, my Carnival cruise ship. <laughs> Also, I was on the Lindy Cruise. So everyone who wants to swing dance and be on a cruise ship, look up lindycruise.com and come on all the future cruises. Crossword puzzle, Monday through Friday. I'm not good at these yet. One day I will be. A pencil to go with this because I'm not good enough to do this in pen. Slippers. I like having slippers. To me, that's a luxury that I always pack because they're tiny. There's only one more pocket to open. Two, 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 two. And that's my main pocket. Passport. Wallet, a little smaller wallet I brought with some cash in small bills so I could tip people. I honestly hate carrying such a thick wallet around. It makes my fanny pack really bulky. These are zero shoe sandals and they're really lightweight, really small. They're super flexible and they just smash flat. So one of my teacher objects is a microphone. And I just put in this little neoprene iPad sleeve case just to protect it. I gotta think of something a little less bulky, but charger, microphone. I lost my voice and have been struggling with vocal nodules for the past six months. So I've been using this when I'm teaching group class and it was a lifesaver on the cruise. Totally worth it for me to pack and I kind of feel like a pop star when I wear it. Hello, hello, hello. Here's my voice loud and clear. Five, six, seven, eight. Wicklefish, which you can see it's really small. What is a wicklefish? I got this in Basel, Switzerland this last summer. It's in a fish shape. It's a dry bag, you blow it up, you fold it down, you clip it, and it turns into like a big air-filled bladder so you can float with it. And it's got a strap so I attach it to my body so I don't lose it when I'm swimming. Have my little bag of makeup. Just like some creams, eye stuff, different assortment of, thing, of makeup so that I could look good in a like slightly vintage look with some red lipstick. I have my Besame Red. This is a Victory Red color. It's a recreation from 1945. Ooh, really pretty. Toiletries, tiny hairbrush, more sunscreen, solid face soap, as well as solid moisturizer. They're from Ethnique. I love these because they're not gonna leak in my bag. Toothbrush, and I have some deodorant, which is a small travel size, as well as a face sunscreen by Kula. Kind of like a comb and some more Advil and some Imodium just in case since I was on a, since I was on a ship. A razor, some eye makeup remover, um, tweezers. My favorite dance shoes ever, Chloe Hong brought one pair of shoes because I remembered that I really liked having slippery leather shoes on the cruise ship because everything is sticky and carpeted or glass fun disco floors. 
the one pair of dance shoes. Don't overdo it to try to match all your outfits. Bring one pair of nicer shoes and that's it. I also just wore a pair of Keds. Keds! Three packing cubes. They're all by Eagle Creek. Super lightweight, different sizes. I swear, I don't know how I lived without packing cubes before. I mask, socks to sleep in because my feet get cold. One swimsuit, one bra. No socks, this is dance shorts so that I don't flash people in a skirt. Real rolling prickle ball tool for keeping my body healthy. It's called rubs and resistance bands because I use them for teaching demonstrations as well as for Lindy Hop Limbo, which I led on the ship. These are by TheraBand. Really, really useful to have some kind of tool since I am a body awareness um, teacher specialty. Anyways, a pair of swimming shorts because I like to have shorts on my butt when I'm snorkeling so I don't burn my butt. Some jewelry. I think I brought like three or four earrings and some pins that say, hey, look, I'm a dancer. Here's Balboa, I love Balboa. And like one necklace, I heart Balboa. I heart Balboa, heart Balboa. What is Balboa? Look up my other channel, buff hat. A little speaker for teaching private lessons. Let's count the t-shirts I have, one. Tank top. Two, the t-shirt I wore. These are both by Icebreaker and they're both merino wool. I have another t-shirt that my boyfriend made for me and it says Bal Gal for Balboa. Balboa girl, Bal Gal. I have another merino wool. This one's by Unbound. Crop top shirt that I wore for the beach. I have another yellow, just like it was a yellow t-shirt I wore with like a blouse thing. Another t-shirt here which has really cute pattern on there. Oh my God, another blouse shirt. Tank top, which I did not wear. I did not wear this tank top. It's also icebreaker merino wool. I didn't wear this because I thought I would go to the gym and work out, which I have in the past on a cruise ship done often. It's just too busy on this trip. A shirt with anchors on it. White blousey one, it was really versatile. It's a vintage shirt, really, really great. Too many t-shirts, I didn't need this much. I could have just washed laundry, which I did anyways. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven shirts. I didn't need this many. Um, I have my pair of shorts, which are high waisted, super cute. These are from Tatiana. A friend of mine gave these to me. Love these shorts. I wore them all the time. I have a skirt, which was custom made for me by Chloe Hong. Love this skirt. It's my teaching skirt. One dress for the dress up nights. This is really useful. Uh, I mean, I could have worn it more than once if I brought a sweater and turned it into a skirt. I brought a pair of leggings for the time I thought I was gonna go to the gym and never went to the gym. I did not need these on this trip, but typically I live in leggings. So even though I didn't use them, I don't regret bringing them. I just didn't need them. Sports bra. Okay, so socks, I have one, two, three pairs of little socks. Should I use, oh no, four pairs of little socks. I used, I could have brought one less. I think this pair is still clean. I really only wore three and I washed them, so I didn't need four pairs of socks. I could probably win with two. I have one, two, three pairs of underwear, plus the ex officio, and that's all I needed. I ended up just washing my underwear a few times. I only needed four pairs the whole trip. I had one pair of socks that are wool that I like to wear on the plane. There's a circle scarf and it's nice for teaching because it doesn't get in my way. One more skirt because it's Hawaiian theme night. I had to bring clothes for theme clothes. So I brought this one and I wore it a few times. One more sweater. So in total, I brought two cardigans and I'm glad I had those two because I was able to mix and match them. This one's lighter weight, cotton and yellow. A long sleeved t-shirt, which was from Uniqlo, it's a heat tech. Thought I would need another layer, but I ended up just sleeping in this shirt. A little purse that I brought, which can also be turned into a fanny pack. The only thing missing from this pile is a bag that I got on the cruise from our swing dancer group. And I used it on the shore when we were um, going to different beach clubs. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching the video. This is all the things I brought. I know it looks like a lot and it's all over the floor.